This video is sponsored by Ideal Electrical of Sycamore, Illinois, USA. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Ideal FT45 feed-through modular plug crimp tool. This tool is designed for RJ45 modular plugs. It provides a flush cut so that no excess conductor will be sticking out the face of the plug. The tool crimps industry standard category 5E and category 6 RJ45 and shielded modular plugs. The tool crimps with less force, has a compact size and weight, and can even fit in your pocket. It's compatible with non-ideal feed-through style modular plugs. FT stands for feed-through and 45 stands for RJ45. The FT45 feed-through modular plugs are single-piece connectors that simplify the process and increase the success rate of terminations. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting some RJ45 modular plugs onto Category 6 cable. And these are Category 6 plugs. Let me show you. Uh, these are also made by Ideal. And it says right here, Category 6 RJ45 8PHC. So you need to use Category 6 plugs on the Category 6 cable or you won't get Category 6 performance. If you use the Category 5E plugs, you're going to get Category 5E performance. So to get started, I'm going to use the Ideal Prep Pro tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to score the cable. And go one turn, put your finger in there, go one turn around, and that's it. So I've scored it. I haven't cut through. Then you break it like that. I'll break the jacket and pull it off. Okay, this is your pole wire right here. And I'm going to be using my uh, electrician scissors. Just snip that off like that. Okay, so we got four twisted pairs. We got white, orange, orange, white, green, green white, brown, brown, and white, blue, blue. So the way I do this is I take my lines with pliers and just turn them like this. Okay, then, then pull it. Get a good straight, good pull. And see how nice and straight they are now? It, it took all the, the wrinkles out of it. So that's, uh, that's one pair. And uh, I'm a licensed electrical contractor. So I, you know, I have a tendency to use linesman's pliers. They're just really handy. And I'm surprised sometimes when people in other trades don't use them because they're just so handy for so many things. Okay, now pull it nice and tight. There, so we got, we got two pairs ready to go. All right, pull them nice and tight. All right, pull it nice and tight. Okay, so now, I'm going to be using the RJ45 pinout T568B. You have to choose between two pinout standards, T568A and T568B. And the most common one for residential use is T568B. So what that is, you put the white orange on your left right here and then the orange and then the white green and then the blue and then the white blue and then the green and then the white brown and then the brown so that that's your order for uh, T568B Right there. Let me get this. Okay. So you got to get everything situated here. 
those limesless pliers get these wires nice and straight. That's what's good about that. Okay, now twist it like this. That helps get them straight too. So I'm going to be cutting them at about an inch and a half. All right, so we got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. There we go. That's good. Okay, you got to get that lined up pretty good like that. Now you get your feed through modular plug. This piece goes down. Okay, this is this goes in, in spot number one and this is spot number eight. So this goes down. So you just put it in like that. And push it all the way through. Now you gotta, you gotta check it again. So we got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue. Yeah, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now you put it all the way in. See the jacket of your cable has to be all the way up against this plastic like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the FT45. Okay, it's got a nice big uh, space here to put it in. You see, and it goes like this with the, the plastic spring part up. It goes in up here and it goes just like that. And you push it all the way in. And you see there's a cutter right here. When I, when I press this handle, it cuts the wires flush and it crips the modular plug onto the cable. All right, that's a good angle. All right, so there it is. You see, all the wires are very, very flush. See how flush all the wires are? And it's crept on there really good. And it didn't take a lot of force. They really did a good job designing this. And it's very, very sharp. With other brands, sometimes you'll, you'll get little pieces left here you have to deal with. These are all nice and flush and sharp. And uh, this blade lasts for 2,000 repetitions. I'm going to make a patch. When you cut your cable, you use, you use a cutter with these curved surfaces and get it nice and straight like that. Okay, since I'm going to make a patch, I need to put my strain relief boots on. So that goes that way and then this one goes this way. You see, you got you have both your strain relief boots in place now, ready to go. You don't forget that. This, this makes a much more professional job when you put strain relief boots on your patches or on your cables. So once again, I'll use the Ideal Prep Pro. And I'll go one time around just to score the, the jacket. And now you break it. You see, you never cut through the jacket. You break the jacket and you pull it off. Okay, so now you got the pull cord right here and take your scissors. These are really sharp scissors. Okay, take that off. So we got white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. All right, it's perfect. Okay, so the modular plug spring goes down. Put it in, all the way in. All right, now we've got to double check it. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, green, white, brown, brown, perfect. Okay, first push it all the way in there. Okay, so you take your FT45, Put this right in there like that. Get it so the camera can see this good. And crimp down all the way. So now I'm gonna put the strain relief boots all the way on like that. And put this strain relief boot all the way on like that. So now I have an RJ45 category six modular patch with category six modular plugs. So before you use a patch like this, you always test it out. 
that will save you a lot of times. If there's any uh, problems with the patch, you need to know it before you go and install it. So uh, this is my ideal VDV multimedia tester. You take the remote out like that, and you take and put one end of the patch into the remote. See, it plugs right in like that, and you take the other end of the patch and you plug it into the top of the tester like that. Okay, so I clicked in both sides. So I got the, the remote here and it's plugged into the tester. So now uh, you press data. It has voice, video, data, and tone. Press data. And there it is. Pass. ID 1. That refers to this. This is ID 1. And you see it's got all eight wires lined up with one another. So uh, this is a pass. In conclusion, this is my favorite modular crimping tool that I've ever used. It's smaller and lighter than older models. The blade's very sharp and replaceable, and it really speeds up production. I'll put a link in my video description for the ideal FT45 feed-through modular crimp tool. I'll also put links for the ideal CAT6 feed-through RJ45 modular plugs, the ideal strain relief boots for modular plugs, Ideal electrician scissors, ideal data tea cutters, the ideal prep pro stripping tool, and the ideal tough tote premium leather tool carrier. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.